by now, I'm sure all of you have heard about the disgusting uh, attack that happened on a mentally disabled girl in Chicago, in my hometown. All right. Uh, now, the good news is, is that Janice Harris was found Tuesday. Okay. She was taken to a hospital and released Wednesday. Here's a video of them finding her on a CTA train. So this brutal attack happened to 15 year old Janice Harris on Saturday. And that's when she disappeared. Um, I went back and forth as to whether or not I really wanted to even show this video, but I've made the decision to do just that. Some things need to be said and some things need to be seen and some things definitely need to be called out. Go ahead and watch this video. So I'm, I'm sorry if that video disturbed you. It should, it really should disturb you. It should disturb all of us. It absolutely, absolutely should disturb all of us. That was disgusting. Those badass kids are animals. And yes, I said it, I'm calling them animals. Now, as I dived into this story, because it's in my hometown, uh, a lot of more details are out there. Okay, there's a lot of details out there. Of course, the uh, police are investigating this incident. Um, just to give you a little bit of background information, based on the activist, Jedediah Brown, who was actively looking for Janice with her father. Now, Janice, again, is a 15-year-old mentally disabled girl whose mother passed away. And so she lives with her father and her grandmother. She goes to, um, it's, it's said that she goes to school with some of these girls. Now I can't confirm that, but it is said that she considered these girls her friends. Okay. Now, according to, uh, reports all over, uh, uh, the newspapers here, as well as Jedediah Brown, the activist that's been kind of speaking out for the family as well. He says that, uh, again, Janice thinking that these girls were her friends, these girls tried to get Janice to do, get into some sexual stuff. All right. She, they were trying to talk her into having sex with the guy that, and she didn't want to, or not necessarily have, they were trying to t basically talk her into having fellatio performing oral sex on this boy. And she didn't want to do that. She was against it and it, it made them angry. So she was walking away from them and they came up to her and asked her if she was going to say something to the police. Now, at this point, it's said, being said that she wasn't going to do anything. She just wanted them to leave her alone. She just wanted to get on the bus and go home. And that was at that point where you saw all these dumbass hood boogers pummel her and haul off and hit her and strike her while other kids sat around and laughed at the whole incident. All right. Now this happened on Saturday. She had been missing. So she had disappeared on Saturday. And again, she wasn't found until Tuesday. She had been reporting. She had been reported, but, and people were looking for her, but they hadn't found her until Tuesday. Now, again, this is all according to the activist Jedediah Brown. When, uh, she finally, opened up to her father and to the activists and the people, you know, as well as the police supposedly, uh, about what happened to her. She is stating that she was raped, that she was raped while she was missing. Um, the police are actively investigating those claims. Um, but Jedediah says that she indeed said it out of her own mouth 
that she was raped. And, you know, which makes this even more disturbing, okay? Not only was she a but brutally attacked by a pack of wild animals, but the girl was allegedly raped as well. What makes this story really, really disturbing to me is the absence of a conscience in some of these young people. I mean, it just speaks to a larger problem that we have in our community, but I've seen some of the girls, so supposedly some of the girls that attacked her, as well as the boys that were sitting around recording it and laughing about the whole encounter, they actually went on to, like I said, to make fun of it, to mock it. After it happened, some of these kids were on social media mocking the fact that this girl got beat. That just shows you how sick some of these kids today are, all right? So uh, the boy that recorded the, um, the attack, when it happened and people knew it was him that was recording it and people start to go off on him about the fact that he sat there and watched all these girls beat this mentally challenged girl, he decided to take the social media to make it even worse, okay? He was calling her hoes, that what was he supposed to do? He ain't no Captain Save-A-Hole. It was well, really yeah, utterly sick. Yeah, we was right there. I was recording, but that shit, like, oh, we break what y'all want us to be Captain Save-A-Hole? No! I am not. <laughs> trust the hoes. You know, not Superman. Not Superman. Ain't got shit to do with us. Now, what is in ironic about this whole thing is now that this is out and people are now threatening the kids, all right. Matter of fact, people were threatening one of the girls that beat her up and the mother supposedly was like, you know, she was threatening people as well. Like, you know, if you come at my kid, blah, 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 blah. You know, you got all these adults now threatening these kids. Okay. Um, and I know it, it definitely invoked a very strong reaction in a lot of people, but it's kind of funny to me now. Now these kids, I've seen one of the girls uh, on social media, I couldn't find the video to download it, but I did watch a video on YouTube where one of the girls is crying. Now she's crying like, oh, no, I need y'all to stop. Please stop. Don't hurt us. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. They're crying on Facebook saying that they're sorry, that they didn't mean it. Please don't hurt us. She was scared because people was trying to find them. And now she's scared. And now she's saying, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Really? Really? Be honest with you as a parent, my, I'm just going to keep it real. I would want their asses to get beat as badly as they did that girl. I would want them to suffer the same way they did that girl. But I understand that that's probably not the way to go, even though there's heat on them and they're hiding right now. Uh, I guess the best course of action is to let the law handle these girls. Now they did all of that over nothing. They, they're going to end up in jail over some dumb shit because nobody raised them. One of the things I understand as a human being, all right, is that when we are born, we are born with the absence of knowing right for wrong. We are all a blank slate when we come into this world. And it is the nurturing, it is the attention, it is the, the introduction to a moral compass that helps us understand right from wrong. But even in that, even in that, you still have some kind of innate, um, uh, something in you, right? That intuition, something in you that still guides you to understand that some things are right and some things are wrong. For instance, you know that you shouldn't walk out onto a busy highway because you could get hit by a car. You just know that. All right. Perhaps it was, it was taught to you somewhere along the lines, but the human reaction is fight or flight. You understand that, you know, something's going to hurt you. You don't do it. All right. I feel like a lot of these kids growing up have the absence of right or wrong because they were never taught it. They were never taught. 
But surely they had to know that beating up anybody, especially a girl that is mentally challenged, is wrong. Like, what kind of fucking animals do we have out here? These are animals. They are not teenagers. They are animals. A matter of fact, not the kind of animals that you would find in the zoo because at least zoo animals have some kind of taming. All right. These are animals that have no moral compass, no guidance. If your child is one of the kind of kids that would literally go and start beating on somebody like this, you are, you are, you are, you're not shit as a parent. You are ain't shit parent. And you didn't raise your kids. And instead of trying to now, probably, you know, their mamas and their daddies going to be in the courtrooms. My baby is a good baby. She's a good kid. She ain't do nothing. She was on the honor road. She got a 2.8. She's a good girl. You going you know, they're going to be talking the bullshit and saying that their kids are good kids and they didn't mean it. They're sorry. They could have hurt that girl. What if that girl had ended up dead? Because, you know, again, she's been missing for days. What if she had ended up dead? The fact that they got upset with her because she wouldn't suck on these little dudes' dicks. That shows you where a lot of these kids' heads are right now. And it also speaks to the larger part of, like, what the hell they're seeing every day. What the hell are these kids engaged in and seeing every day that even lets them think that it's okay to hit on people. But then I have to think to myself, I just happened to just turn, uh, the TV last night and I saw basketball wives. I didn't, I, I, I watched it for a moment, maybe like two or three minutes. It was at the end when, uh, Evelyn, Evelyn Lozada, who supposedly reformed herself years ago, but now of course, of course she's still shaking tables. She's still jumping over chairs and trying to hit people and shit like that. That's what these kids see all the time. This is what they see and they're inundated with all the time. They don't know how to like have any kind of conflict resolution because they think resolution is we got to fight or we got to beat on somebody. And this is what they see all the time, all the time. They see basketball wives, they see love and hip hop. And this is what the kids like. Okay. This is what they like to watch. This is what they think is how you solve problems. They have no idea of conflict resolution. They just don't. They don't. And then you see, I know I'm getting off on a tangent here, but I'm making a point. So uh, there's another reality show on VH1 called Girls Trip. Now, I saw people online, mostly teenagers, by the way, saying that the show was boring. You know why the show is boring? Because ain't nobody fighting. They said that the show's boring because nobody is fighting. Do you understand what these kind of shows are doing to these kids? And the fact that, again, they don't have nobody at home telling them right from wrong or teaching them. They mama's probably out there fighting like that in the street, fighting over some nigga. So they don't, they, nobody's guiding them. They are lost. They are a lost cause, but let, let me tell you this. I don't want they lost asses around my family, all right? Lost or not, I don't give a fuck, okay? Um, I saw a lot of, like I said, I saw a lot of adults online. Like, you know, if it was my kid, I would have beat their ass. I understand that's the energy that a lot of us are on. But the truth of the matter is, these kids just don't have, they are lost. They have no moral compass. I bet you any kind of money, these kids that was beating on this girl, put their asses in a real jail. Put them in a county jail and watch how they cower up. Watch how big and bad they're not. I already saw that they ain't shit and they not as big and bad as they thought when I saw them crying. So a couple of girls crying, talking about, we sorry, we, we sorry. Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. Bitch, too late. Bitch, too late. You wanted to be an animal, you're going to get treated like one. All right? So if somebody catch you in the streets, oh, well. 
we as the black community got to stop coddling these little animals. All right. I know we be trying to stay on code and all this other stuff that we try to do. But when we try to stay on code too tight, these little animals right here just get to run loose and kill up everybody in the city. And that's basically what they're doing. Don't nobody want to check them. Don't nobody want to check them. You know, we want to give excuse, 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 excuse. Don't nobody want to check their little asses. Okay. Nobody. All right. And, and when, when the, then when the white man step in and want to, want to take them to jail, want to send them to print. Now we feeling sorry. Now we don't want them. Oh, the, the criminal justice system is true. We know that. Yes, we do know how the criminal justice works against black people, but teach your little fucking animals how to act out here. Teach them right from wrong so they ain't out here doing dumb shit like this or pulling the trigger on somebody that looks just like them because that's all they do. That's all they do. And if they keep it up, it won't be none of them. They won't even be alive to tell the story. They come out, they act like little animals. They ain't raised, all right? And then they go out and kill somebody and then the mama want to be on TV crying and saying that her baby ain't did nothing. Her baby's a good kid. He's a good kid. She's a good kid. No, they're not. No, they're not. And so, like I said, it is possible that Janice Harris was raped as well. So not only are people out here beating on kids like this, but you raping them too? Like, what the fuck? I'm just, I'm just ranting because I'm tired. I'm just tired. I've seen, this is a very disturbing story, but we've seen other disturbing stories. I've seen several disturbing stories this week that got me bothered. All right. I saw a story about a, a woman who was holding her child and was having, was fighting with another woman. The child dropped out of her arms and the baby died. And now she's being charged with murder. I, we just got to make better decisions as humans. Okay. We got to teach our kids right from wrong. So they don't go out here and do, do dumb shit like this. This was just, again, an absence of a conscience. These kids have no conscience and I don't want to be around anybody that don't even have a conscience because if they'll do that to her, imagine what they'll do to you. If you will attack a mentally challenged young girl, imagine what they'll do to your ass. They're animals. And I'm just going to call it like it is. They are animals. And I hope they throw the book at them. I hope they throw the book at them, but I actually hope they get their asses whooped before the book is thrown at them. I really do. Every last one of them need their asses whooped. Something that their mamas didn't do. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 